What is the difference between bifocal and progressive lenses? In this video, we will address the question many of us have as we age. What is the difference between progressive and bifocal lenses in glasses? In order to understand the difference between bifocals versus progressive lenses, we must first understand the developmental milestones in our eyes as we age. Milestone 1 is age birth to age 18. Milestone 2 is age 19 to 45 when your prescription is stable, the lens of your eye is flexible. At age 46 to 65, the prescription is stable, but the lens is inflexible. And at age 66 and above, the prescription may shift as your lens becomes cloudy. It occurs between birth and age 18. The development of our eyes from birth is rapid and intense. A newborn baby actually has about 2200 vision, but that vision rapidly improves as he or she starts seeing our beautiful world. Most babies start out somewhat farsighted and have very flexible lenses in their eyes and therefore can use the focusing power to improve their vision. As we age, the refractive error shifts progressively nearsighted. The typical time frame for the appearance of myopia or nearsightedness is between age 7 and 12. Now generally, if you don't wear glasses until you're in your later teenage years, you will either not develop severe nearsightedness or it will be fairly mild. By about age 18, our eye prescription becomes largely stable. As a refractive surgeon, we measure your prescription over the lifetime of our patients. There may be very slight shifts toward nearsightedness between age 20 and age 50, but usually it's not a large amount of change. Now, milestone 2 occurs at about age 19 to 45 years old. In this phase of our lives, we generally have fairly stable glasses prescription, although it may change slightly every time we measure it. We have a very flexible lens in our young adulthood that allows us to focus on near objects because the lens of our eyes is very flexible. This is a great age to have LASIK, PRK, or ICL, depending on your refractive error, your anatomy, and your hobbies and vocations. Milestone 3 is sometimes called lens dysfunction. The lenses of our eyes get less flexible in our mid-40s than less clear in our mid-60s when we develop cataracts. The lack of flexibilities in our eyes after age 45 makes it so we cannot have perfect distance vision and near vision in both eyes. We must discuss the difference between progressive and bifocal lenses. The spectacle correction, or glasses, of our nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism generally corrects our vision for seeing distant objects clearly. When this occurs, we must use muscles in our eyes to flex the natural crystalline lens of our eyes to see near objects. It becomes less flexible, and therefore the eye is focused wherever the glasses focus, and we must have no-line bifocals or progressive lenses to allow us to see near objects. The difference between bifocals and progressive lenses is fairly simple. Bifocal lenses generally have a line separating the distance lens from the near lens. The difference between bifocals and progressive lenses is that it is much easier for someone to adapt to glasses that do not have a line that can distract the glasses wearer. We really do not see bifocal glasses much anymore. The technology to create progressive lenses allows a gradual increase in the focusing power of the glasses as we look further and further down the lens. This makes it much more tolerable and seamless. Many of our patients don't even realize that they're wearing progressive lenses versus bifocal wearers who always know when they're looking through the bifocal segment of their glasses. The difference between progressive lenses and bifocal lenses is generally a greater level of technology and progressives that allow you to see distance and near objects with a gradual progression of focusing power as you look further down in the lens of the pair of glasses. Sometimes people will get several pairs of glasses that focus images at different distances, such as for the computer or for very tiny objects such as a splinter. Sometimes people get distance glasses only, which is good for things like driving or for other outdoor sports and activities. Although the difference between progressive and bifocal lenses is a result of improving technology, they both may be used much 
less frequently in the future as we perform more RLE procedures on patients who are over 45 years old. Milestone four is when we are in our 60s or even 70s. As we age, the lenses of our eyes become less flexible as I've described previously. In our 50s, 60s, and 70s, the lenses of our eyes become gradually less clear. Vision gradually declines, with most people experiencing some reluctance to drive at night because of decreased contrast sensitivity, glare, halos, and difficulty seeing road signs. At some point in this decline, people decide to have cataract surgery. Cataract surgery is the most commonly performed Medicare procedure in the United States with over 4 million procedures performed annually. Medicare does not cover the fees for multifocal lenses, however. In my estimation, we can gain a much higher level of function and quality of life by having the lenses of our eyes removed before our vision declines significantly. This could be in your later 40s or later 50s so that you don't have to wait until you're in your 70s. You can have it all much sooner and enjoy life without glasses or contacts and not need cataract surgery when you're much older. RLE is just taking care of the problem earlier so that you can be totally out of glasses and contacts and not ever need cataract surgery in the future. Come see us at Sharp Vision so we can help get you out of glasses and experiencing your best life. At Sharp Vision, we are making glasses a thing of the past. Thank you.